So where were we in Final Fantasy? I don't remember. I know there was a noble. Oh, I remember now. So we came down the stairs and then we went back upstairs. So we we made our way underground and we tried to get one of the earth crystals underground, but then that didn't really work. And well, they're not earth crystals; they're dark crystals or something. Like they're not evil; they're just like 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 negative is to positive, right? So tried to get one of those and then we tried to go stop. Golbez, but that didn't work. Um, we defeated another one of the. Do we defeat another one of the fiends? No, he took off, and we couldn't go any further. So then we like went back down, and then yet again another character made made a noble sacrifice, which I think we're at four characters making noble sacrifices in the game. Uh, we've lost both the twins. Um, we've lost the old man. Tella. Although his was less of a noble sacrifice and more of, like, revenge fulfillment. But it was still kind of a noble sacrifice. Like, he was trying to save all of us as well as get revenge. And then lastly, in the tower... What was happening in the tower? Something was happening in the tower. I don't remember what. But, yeah, I think something was blowing up. Yeah, they were going to shoot a cannon at the Dwarven City or something. Because um, we did actually stop them from taking that crystal, I think. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. I don't care. It really isn't that important. What is important is we got people to beat up. I'm half awake. And it's time for more Final Fantasy 2. Or is it? Because buttons are not doing anything. There we go. There we go. I'm going to assume that we are cool using the... Yeah, this is the right party because we don't have Yang anymore. Right, right, right. Okay, so then we also got... We also got, uh... Access to moving the hovercraft. You know, pick it up with the ship. Also, we don't have... Do we have Sid? Yeah, I don't know why Sid didn't rejoin our party, but Sid didn't rejoin our party. So what we're supposed to do now is use this to get to places. There's two different places that we can take this. Uh, one of them is near Evlon, or Evlon... Ev... Ev... What the what what is this place's name? Ev Evion? Eblon! I was right! Yay! Alright, so I don't remember why we're supposed to be here. I remember it being mentioned offhand. And I remember thinking, well, this is one of the two places I know where to go that I can't get to without the hovercraft. So we're gonna go here. Cave Albana. And now starts the terrible RNG fest. At least I finally have a, a party that I feel like feels somewhat permanent. Because that was the biggest problem I was having. Like, easily the biggest problem I was having uh, with the other parties is because they didn't feel permanent. And I don't know if this was on purpose or, or how it was. Um, but I found a lot of the times, like it felt like the characters didn't have enough hit points and yeah, it was just kind of weird. It didn't really make sense. Like it just felt wrong. Did that kill him? Like I have no idea what curse does. You know, I, I never even thought back when I said I was going to play this. I never even thought back to be like, I should... I, this is going to be kind of hard to play without the manual. Or, not hard. Irritating. It's no longer cursed, so whatever it does, it's not permanent. But I never... I never stopped to consider how much I used the manual for Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. 6 slash 3, 3 slash 6. But at the same time... Again, even... I didn't use it... I used it a surprising amount for a game that I know as well as Final Fantasy VI. So I should have clued in to be like, you're gonna want it for this game, Potato. Oh, we're gonna have to cast, like, a fire spell or something, because this is gonna irritate me. Skeletons are usually weak to fire. I don't know if we're going to do a full five-hour stream today. 
Just giving a warning up. I've been kind of zonked all morning. So it's going to largely depend on how much energy I have. I want to do a five hour stream. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not going to do one, so. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Just everyone die, please. Please let that kill them. Like, please just let let that be over and we can, yeah, stop this silliness. I still feel like the characters should be stronger than they are. Did I rearrange your spells? Or was that Tella? I think that was Tella, actually, that whose spells I rearranged. Now that I'm thinking about this. Yeah, I think I was, because there was life spells and stuff. Oh, maybe I should heal people. Rosa, you want to heal some people, right? So like, cure one from her might be enough. The magic stat in this game affects, like, has such a bigger effect on how much your spells actually work versus Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI, and I think that's just probably a function of the fact that everyone in that game can use magic. Nope. But, uh, because they couldn't make it so damn crippling. I don't think everyone in this game can use magic. Did I just not see that last time I was here? A shuriken? That's a weapon I can't use yet. I wonder what that's for. Definitely if you're not for that other character that I know about that I don't have yet. Definitely not. Nope. Um. Button the house down, laddie. See, I'm completely oblivious. I did not see that when I came in here before. Cave bats. Ooh, boring. Yeah, chat replay. I still don't think it's gonna change what my setup is going to be. I suspect chat replay is probably a function of like trying to draw people to be using Twitch for their highlights more. But you you want to know what <laughs> keeps me from using Twitch as high as a, a system for me making highlights in is that the fucking video editor is such garbage that like legit I've I spend so much time less time now doing like highlighting my streams because I can do them locally than it ever took in Twitch. So. Okay, lightning is not the way to go with bats. Cause yeah, like if 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 Twitch was legit like a really good system for me to just do all my highlighting in and I would never have to do anything locally. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's great. It's 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 nice to have, and it'll definitely be nice if anyone misses anything and they want to watch it again. Um, and for the people that you know put their that do lots of chat interaction and put their vods behind a paywall, yeah, it's great for them. 
Like that's that's more value added to the people that are playing, paying sub dollars for them. But I don't know. Not not necessarily more more sub dollars, but more incentive to you know, to keep sub dollars. Oh, you stupid vampires! Just die. Or bats, or whatever you are, just please. I wish I could control battle speed within combat, because, like, i just like to be able to hit, like, L or R, and then just, like, okay, yes, I know you're gonna use Vampire 50 times, let's, you know, let's turn on the turbo for a little bit, and get you through all these animations. Oh my god. Check it out here where, like, Vampire does so little. Who are you? Is that our new party member? I really, I really do wish the Twitch's system was better. Ah! Thought you were monsters! Okay. No, you're just random guards in this cave. Oh, did- th Oh, probably everyone from the castle's in here. Je comprends. Si, un idiot. Bag is full. Pamplemousse, tous les jours. Yeah, you have fire shit cooked everywhere. And you have ice things. Okay, what can we. Oh shit, no. What can we sell? I think I might sell those rods. That's extra. I know that for sure. I'm really missing, like, the noise that Final Fantasy VI has when you sell things. It just... It, I don't know. It just feels like it fits so damn well. well Yang's dead. I can probably sell those, raw, those claws. Or at least it's heavily implied he's dead. So these axes are not useful to me anymore. Alright. Yeah, I know, exactly. You don't get any of your gear back if anyone dies in this game. It's just like, yeah, nope, there goes your nice stuff. Hope you didn't need that. No. Oh, why am I doing that? There we go. Also, I don't really care about Cure One, so. Yeah, I was right. This is all the people of Eblon. All right, um, well. It's such garbage, isn't it? I, I, I've been kind of long of the opinion that, that Lucas is an idea man, and he should have never been let fully loose with anything. <laughs>
uh, great nerd conversations of the stream. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nerd Fest. Yes, that's right, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm doing it like a newsy voice, but I don't know, it's a fun voice. Ah, let's see what I have at the, the item store. They might have some cool things. Uh, Blizzard Ice Brand Short. Okay, yet again, another weapon that we can't use. An archer bow, poison arrows, and okay. I kind of want to keep that whip on Rydia. Because the whip causes paralyzation, and it's not like I need a melee weapon for her, really, at all. What do you have equipped? You have you already have a blizzard spear. And you already have an ice brand. So, really, we need nothing from there. That's a film nerd discussion. We were having a science fiction nerd discussion. They're very different things. This path leads to the Tower of Babel. That's where Rubicon has his headquarters. Our prince went to look around, but hasn't come back yet. So it looks like we can get into the top part of the Tower of Babel from here. We hid in here. Food is running short. I've decided that this entire town talked like this. I can't believe we ninjas were defeated so easily. Where did those monsters come from? To rescue the King and Queen, the Prince is digging a hole into the Tower of Babel. But I haven't seen him lately. The King and Queen were taken when the Prince was gone. That was oddly phrased. I'm going to protect my mom. She is pregnant. Oh, sweetie. The Prince will beat up those bad guys, right? This is just kind of falling apart as I do it. This may be the end of the Ninjas of Eblon. What will we do next time on Final Fantasy IV? Our prince can do it. Honey, hold on. All right, enough dumb accents for now. Let's go find all prince. You have no idea how much every time every time I like the pence went alone. Every time I signed off when I was playing um, uh, Shadowrun Dragonfall, it was I I know I think I did it a couple times, but it was like very very difficult to not be like next time on Dragonfall Z. Except you have to do it. You can't do it in like that newsy accent. You have to do it on like the like the deep announcer voice. Next time on Dragonfall Z. Um, I don't remember where any of the characters from Dragonfall. <laughs> I don't remember any of their names. I remember, I remember uh, Emo Meg and uh, uh, Ginger Scott and uh, Troll Troll Lady. Was there a Troll Lady? I don't. This is so bad, I don't remember. I don't remember the goddamn characters from that game. Oh, there, there was Bald Elf Dude. At least I remember what they look like. That's It, it would be way worse if I didn't remember what they look like. Stop the prince! Assuming you don't get into a massive volume of combats! Just give me Rydia and I will just like fire two all over this shit.
It's pronounced Hammerstein. weird that like I could I, I basically feel like this game the best parts of the game are the combat and the worst parts of the game are the combat. Oh, no he's asleep. Paralyzed Much better. Mucho bueno. Okay, let's use some of those, like, Cure 1 items to get them out of our inventory. Because they're just going to take up space. Okay, and now Rosa. Probably wasting magic here doing it this way. Well, the way I was doing it there. It is non optimal. It is over here. This area looks, you know, quote unquote, the way. And I never want to go the way in Final Fantasy. No, this is just a dead end. That's weird. Really weird. Do I want to fight the egg? I feel like I don't want to fight the egg. I don't understand why we dropped so much money running away from an egg. I mean, yes, it was a particularly large egg, but it was still an egg. See, this is the kind of combat that I would expect to drop money running from. You know, we'll just retcon that. We dropped the money running away from the skeletons, not not running away from the egg. Makes way more sense. Ugh, these bats are irritating, too. Oh, excuse me. That's the worst part in any game, is when you get to a part that's not hard, it's just irritating. Crazy? Maybe? But, um, yeah. Running to parts of games where it's like... The game just tries to beat you by annoying you and making you want to not play it. I don't really find that as very compelling. And all these secret passages in this game, too. And they're all, like, really visible. But I guess, like, they might not have been as visible in a CRT. I wonder what it would look like if we put some scan lines in. I might I might just switch mess with the emulator here for a second after the fight and see what it looks like if I throw some scan lines on this thing. I just don't really like how it looks, so I never do.
see video display configuration yeah see there it's a lot harder to see right and that's kind of what the game would have looked like with scan lines which I think for some games it makes look better. I don't think for Final Fantasy it makes it look better, though. I, w I would rather have no scan lines for Final Fantasy. Not the Prince. Is the character's name Prince? I've heard I've heard stories about Prince. He's quite an egomaniac. Actually, I probably shouldn't say bad things about Prince on the internet. He might come back for me. Meme, this lowly streamer, being hounded by a great star. Go. Just somebody be able to fight the damn bats. Oh my god. Their speed is just super, super high. That, that's what it is. What? Okay, so this this is not I, I love good, like weird obscure video game stories, and this is one I have never heard before. So you have to tell us the story of Prince and Rain. Is 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 Rain the one with purple gear? Because that would be pretty funny if he was. I know Rain's one of like the Kung Fu like the, the Scorpion Ninja whatever's. I think he is, at least. Isn't he? So I was right. He's the purple one. Nice. That seems that seems perfectly at home with Mortal Kombat in like in a world where like one of the hidden characters name names is Noob Snaybot, which is like the creator's two names reversed. Why am I casting spells as Cecil? Cecil's garbage for healing. Here, Cecil, have some spells that you can cast. They definitely will be useful once you have a proper healer. He said in a stupid accent that probably was insulting to some people. Yeah. I kind of feel like Mortal Kombat has lost its way in that regard. Like, what separated Mortal Kombat from Street Fighter used to be that Mortal Kombat was more violent, but it was more like... It was, it was cartoonish over-the-top violence, and I think that's still there to some respect. But I think they've they've laid down. Oh no, there's more hidden shit there. Monsters! Hammer time! Yeah, I remember that. Like Ermac stands for, like, it's an abbreviation for something. I can't remember what it stands for. It's like error something. Oh, a drain sword, you say? I'm going to stick with the ice brand. 
Actually, I should probably tent this thing now, too, because everyone's MP is getting kind of low. I'm assuming at some point the tents are going to be ineffective, and I'm going to want to start using cabins. I just haven't seen the point of it yet. Unless ca unless the difference is the ca oh maybe cabins bring people back from swoon. Although like there already I can see that that didn't heal all of Rosa's MP. All right, well then we'll use another tent. And I'm not waiting. Doo -doo -doo. It seems like their big, like, deal for Mortal Kombat 10, at least from, uh, from my perspective, is them trying to get, like, all, like, guest characters. It does, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. Oh, 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 cutscene, cutscene. Do, do, do. Hey, Rubicont! I was waiting for this day! Have I met you before? I am Eblon's Prince! Edge! Eblon? What's that? Don't play the fool with me! Badass ninja prince wearing heels, fighting fire element. Do do do. Do do do. do, do. What is. Was it flame? I'll show you how. I was not paying attention to any of their conversation. Oh, the Rubicon sprite is pretty badass. That does not surprise me, Fryerus. Yeah, I think I think that you're right. I think he's a ninja wearing cowboy bo boots. Indeed, you're strong, but no match for me. Challenge me after you've become strong enough. Ha 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 ha! This is such an anime thing to do. I'm gonna leave you here alive. Come challenge me when you are strong enough. Ha ha! Wait! Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get control because I wanted to go open the chest instead. Just to be a dick. You okay? How could I lose? Well, that was a little more southern than I meant to be. We're also after Rubicon for his crystal. Why don't you stay out of this? He's one of the fiends of elements. Haven't you tasted enough of his power? Ah, uh, think I'm just a spoiled prince, huh? The royal family, the royal family of Eblon is trained as ninja. I can take care of myself, okay? I realize. This is coming out, it, it, it keeps wa wavering between, like, like a newsy radio accent and Terrence and Philip. Terrence! Uh, stop it. No more. I've had enough. <laughs> Tella, Yang, and even Sid. We lost them all. all. Right, right. I forgot when I was listing our noble sacrifices. I forgot about Sid. We've had five noble sacrifices. That's where Sid is. Hey, come on. Huh, ready, huh? And then ready is like. Ah, ah. Rubicon is the strongest of the four fiends, but we still have to recover these crystals. We can't keep this pretty girl crying. Why don't you... Why don't we work together on this? Considering the fact that he's wounded, he sure bluffs well. Come on, Rosa, what do you think? Kyo, too! Rosa's going to talk like this now! Welcome to the... What is it? The... Something in value! Circus of value! Thanks, girl! You are cute as well! Cute, too, sounds weird! Right, men, let's go! Uh, give me a break. Ninja Edge! 
it, it's kind of like a vacation being dead. I mean, like, it's not a vacation I'll ever come back from. And Zergo, you have, you're just like basically doing all of the Final Fantasies at once. Every single Final Fantasy. How are we gonna get in? What? Here we go! Judo chop! Oh, maybe I'll just jump over the wall. How does that work? What the fuck is he doing? Special ninja magic! I don't know how any of that works. Also, he has like three distinct skills? What the deuce? Okay, so sneak is steal. So, I'm assuming dart is throw. And and then ninja is, like, ninja spells. Okay, that is that is the assumption I'm going under. I should have equipped him with some things. But I was not thinking. So, we'll do that after this fight. Oh, they're all exploding all over me. In your window. Okay, Edju. Edju this. So he's got two short swords. He can use he can use the claws, I just think that they're garbage in comparison. It'd sell a bunch of stuff, but I think this is all still, like, better than what he would maybe have. Is this better than the silver glove, though? So it's a four drop in armor for a two gain. Yeah, I think I think we'll avoid doing that. Secret Ninja Paws! Oh, you're fighting Teen Girl Squad, are you, Zergo? Virus. So it's uh, the ugly one! Just like constant respawning on me. That wasn't that wasn't a hard fight. It was just an annoying fight. It wasn't even that annoying. It was just like, eh, let's just get this over with. You don't like Firewatch, Ponscom? I I've heard I've heard a lot of people like like it, but it, it is definitely a walking sim. So if that's not your jam, then GTFO. I don't know anything about it. Apparently, there's like a big spoiler like almost immediately within the game. Like, there's, like, almost an immediate twist, so that's why I've been trying to stay away from it. Ninja Paws activate! Except I want them. <laughs> I want them. I should start playing Record Keeper idly. I don't know, I might like it, I might not. I might just feel like I'm being driven up the wall.
How short is incredible? Oh, fucking hell, these stupid explosions. And this time, that one did, like... Anyway, I was gonna ask, how short is incredibly short? Mm, yeah, that is a bit shorter than I would want. I mean, at least it's not, like, calendula bad. And I suspect it would at least make more sense than bloody calendula. I will say, I, I do kind of enjoy that that game has basically become the benchmark for things I don't like, games that I think are bad right now. Stupid ogres. I guess it's gonna be one of those things I'll probably put on a wish list and keep an eye out just so that I get a notification when it goes on sale, right? Ah, oh, fuck you. One damage my butthole. Stupid ogres are so annoying. The same ogres that were in that stupid chest. There's a couple games that I would say in general fall into that, that category of, you know, they're worth paying for, but not what they originally were going put up for sale at. Um, I'm struggling to think of one right now, though, of course. Hey, uh, I want to pay you pretty much any game that you can find something of value in is is worth something, right? It's just how much it's worth. Like, I was talking about the Harvey Birdman, and, like, essentially point-and-click game that they released a couple years ago. And it's like, I paid... I paid two dollars for the one copy of it I have, and a uh, dollar for the other copy of it I have. And even paying a total of three dollars for two copies of it, I still feel like I got my money's worth. Because three dollars is, like, for a couple hours worth of play is, is, in my opinion, good pricing. I've heard that the Deadpool game, like... Deadpool is one of those characters that, A, I think has to be written really well. It's very easy to go over the top with Deadpool and, and write him so that he's irritating, but I hear that the game is actually written rather well, but the, uh, the gameplay is pretty cookie cutter. Which is why I have had no interest in picking it up. Part of me really wants to see that movie again. I really, really liked that movie. Now, there's another treasure chest over here. I'm not forgetting about that. Yeah, exactly. What the? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a green D. Yeah, I've, I've heard similar things, like that Batman Origins, Arkham Origins, is not a bad game. It's just uninventive compared to the other ones. Although I've heard also Arkham Knight isn't particularly good because the way that they decided to change the game kind of ruins the gameplay. Which completely makes sense. I mean, the rest of the games 
are based around like slow progression as you explore a city. So dropping a Batmobile in the middle of everything, but not not expanding, you know, the world to be almost Grand Theft Auto or bigger esque. Like it just it seems really weird. I got it for free because, um, I still haven't touched it. Uh, I got it for free because of the whole, like, snafu that happened with Arkham Knight. So I got Arkham Knight with, uh, the graphics card that I got for this computer that we put together over the summer, early summer, late spring, whatever it was. Um, and then there was that huge debacle with the god-awful PC port of Arkham Knight where they pulled it. And they gave everyone, um... Uh, they gave everyone all of the Batman games on Steam if you ha if uh, if you didn't have them. I mean, I guess technically they still gave them to you, but it's not like you had codes or anything to give away. So I got Origins and um, what's that other one that they made? He said completely, you know, throwing the stream off track because he's lost in thought. And he's talking about himself in the third person. Blackgate. The Blackgate game. Deluxe edition. They can be tiresome. Also, I love his cow his ninja cowboy boots. His ninja cowboy boots are probably my new favorite thing. And I loathe that about, about mobile games. I mean, like, everyone loathes that about mobile games, but still. It has just made me slowly not play mobile games. Particularly because I have some other, so many other games that I could just play anyway, so why... Why play games that are going to be like, Yes! Here's a paywall! Man, those things are just wrecking me. I oh, was just the over left now. That was annoying. I think, like, if something has a good story, I'll put up with a lot of game mechanics that I won't like. And I find a lot of mobile games seem to completely disregard story because they don't expect people to, like, play them more than a couple minutes at a time. So that just makes it less likely that I'm going to play mobile games. Put the shit's down here. Run away, please. It's it's annoying me. Please run away. I don't want to do this vice. Oh, these things again. What? The definition of first strike in this game is driving me up the goddamn wall, I will say that. Okay, what what do I need? Like, what are these things weak to? No weak points found. Awesome. Awesome. Kind of why I stopped playing the, the the Dragon Age mobile game.
because I got completely bored of that thing. I think that's the last mobile game I was playing at all seriously. I should probably actually, you know, bring my party back to life, because, you know... Reasons. I hate those friggin' leopards, though, so much right now. Is that a doorway there or not? There's a lot of ogres. Oh my god, just land your jump, please. Stop punching people. Thank you. I don't know, I guess... I don't want to do any of those, because they're all not things I like. Yeah, I have a feeling Record Keeper would... would would bore me. That's kind of why I wish that they brought the Picross game to North America, because I would play the crap out of that. Like, having to solve, you know, quick little puzzles to do the fights. That interests me way more than just like... I don't know, I don't, like, what's the gameplay in Record Keeper like? Is it an interesting gameplay mechanic at all? Mr. Ogre, please. Mr. Ogre, bring me a dream. I probably should have jumped. It would have been faster, but... The thing is, like, I could, pro I could probably equip a better weapon to her, but that percent chance to, uh... The percent chance to um, paralyze is just way too useful. I swear that looks like a door, but it apparently is not. It's like such a case of... I'm playing with an item that I would never use normally if that was a melee character. Like, just like holding on to a weapon from ages ago. But she never does any damage with it anyway, so... That would be pretty awesome if she just, like, pulls out a gun randomly. I don't know how it would make any level of sense, but it would still be awesome. There's, there doesn't seem to be a lot of tech in this world outside of what Sid makes. And, like, this tower that doesn't have any explanation, so I'm assuming that it's probably, like, the tower of, of a lost civilization or something. Oh, 
That's a little bit morose. Okay. What's in here? Save point, save point, save point. Nope. Okay. Maze? No, it's just... This is a weirdly short floor. I guess I should have checked for a green D in there, but... Again, instead of just running away. You never know uh, when uh, when you can use the power of the green D. Okay, so is this the right way? I think that's the... Uh, the sacrifices in this game, I think, are the thing I like the least about the story. Is it like, it would be okay if it was just like one thing or another thing, but it's just like... It's like when you get any kind of trope and it happens over and over and over again, it starts getting... It takes away from the, um, the meaning of the scene and just becomes very silly. Like when... I can't remember if I la I feel like I did laugh when Sid decided he was going to jump off the airplane. Or the airship and blow up the hole. So it was just like, really? Really? More noble sacrifices? Okay. Tellus is the only one that really even made that much sense. Like, Tella was trying to get revenge. Like, Tella's was, like... Tell Tella's story makes sense. Of any of them that I would keep, it would be Tella's. But everyone else is just like, And now we must... Die to save the rest of you. And everyone else in the bar is like, yeah, No, no, you don't need to do that. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, great. He's dead. Did I just pick up a middle sword? Also, I've been surprised by an egg. So that's a thing. Ah! An egg! Oh, the egg has charm. I mean, I'm... If... Some green D? Do we get some green D? Nope, we got a Lamia. I hear my husband upstairs, so I am guessing that his internet was too garbage to do what he has to do at work for his meeting. Yeah, if you don't harm the egg, it doesn't hatch. All right, so I'm assuming that I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it that if I find a charm in the egg, that this is gonna be a lamia. Okay, that works well. So I'm kind of curious, like, depending on what um, Edge steals, will that dictate what's in the egg? Like, I feel like it's probably... I feel like it's probably already determined at the start of combat. Now, this feels like the way to go, and I did not go explore down there at all, so... There could be some tasty treasure chests down there that I am completely ignoring. Can you, like, ninja jump through there, Edge? I'd love some more ninja jumping. Oof. This is not a fight I want to fight. Particularly when, like, first strike in this game is absolute garbage compared to other Final Fantasies. So there's no chest down here. It's probably just complete misdirection.
I should try magic, but I don't know, like, normally what's in those eggs is not that difficult to defeat. Which is usually why I'm more irritated by it and I just half the time end up running away, because it's, it's an easy way to get the fight over with, right? I could hear that in, in Grundy's voice from Justice League, Pawn Scum. Thank you. Oh, poor Grundy. Alright, yeah, we, we can try it as a test. We can definitely try it as a test. Is there seriously, like, just nothing over here? Like, this doesn't even go anywhere? No, this is all garbage. I, I don't even know what to use on these guys to be first. I guess we'll try lightning. And then uh, everyone gets a cure. Let's see how this goes over. Okay, apparently the wispy thing absorbs lightning. Whip it, Rydia. Whip it real good. Should have said that in a way that sounded less creepy. There's a lot of things in this game that just don't, like... I almost feel if the game was... Right, I mean, like, particularly with the fact that they made changes to the gameplay. Uh, with the localization, I wonder how much testing this game actually got. Because it would have had to have a whole second wave of testing, right? Okay, so I'm assuming that's a Lamia. Perry. Perry. Guess I could have peeped it. Fire 2. Perry. Yeah, it hatches. It basically hatches the moment you attack it. Which is pretty much what I expected to happen. Hello, kitty. 